Hello, 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 and welcome to another Angry Unit of the Reek. And today we're taking a look at the Rat Owl Trenty. The Rat Owl was a rather revolutionary infantry fighting vehicle, as it was the first modern IFE which was completely reeled. The reason being is that the South African IFE doctrine was quite different compared to the rest in European American Soviet standard, where their whole idea was IFEs would support large tank pushes. The South Africans were defending a large border in smaller intensity engagements. They just needed to get their infantry unit to the area of conflict much faster. And so in the open savannah of the South African plains, you just need something that can get to A to B pretty quickly and have good fuel autonomy as the South African border is pretty big. And that's where the Rat L came in. It was introduced into the South African Defence Force in the mid-70s. There'd been many different variants of the Rat L IFE. Some armed with 60mm cannons, some armed with 90mm cannons, some armed with mortars. But the main infantry transport was armed with a 20mm Hispano cannon. In game, the Rat L 20 is a 15 point South African transport vehicle and it has a single weapon. And the weapon is your pretty standard 20mm autocannon with 960 rounds of ammunition. It's pretty standard for a ground-based autocannon, there's not too much to really say here. Hop down to the miscellaneous attach, it has two frontal armor, one side, one back, and one on top. 10 HP, medium size, poor optics, a speed of 105 kilometers off-road, and 150 kilometers on the road, has a 1000 km fuel autonomy, and it is available to motorize and armored decks. During battle, the Rat L20 has a pretty simple job, and that is to get infantry to the front line. Very quickly. Very, very, very quickly. Just like of a lot of the South African vehicles, this thing is fast. 105 km an hour off-road is pretty insane. If we compare this to the previous speed demon of the Blue 4 transports, the Vab T20, this thing goes 15 km an hour faster off-road, and also it even has an extra piece of frontal armor, which does increase the survivability by a decent amount. A T80 is still going to go through you like a hot knife through butter, but you might survive some low velocity incoming fire a little bit better. You are a little bit limited in what units can be transported in the Rat L20. Fortunately, the regular infantry, the Bokups, can be transported in this, which is arguably the best infantry to transport in this vehicle, as it's only 10 points, and if you, you know, rush up and get into a good defensive position, those Bokups can do a decent job in holding the line. And only 10 points. That's not a bad tax. And just like with the rest of the South African deck, his thing works very well in conjunction with the other speedy ground vehicles, such as the Roycat 76s and 105s. If you start off a game with a few Roy Cats, a few Rat Hell Trenties, or Bokups inside, maybe an XD Alpha Recon Helicopter, you can do some pretty serious damage. You can get right into the enemy flank very quickly, unload some infantry into a strategic town position, and hold the line, and use the Rat Hell Trenties to rust around the enemy rear, and maybe snipe some anti-aircraft units, or kill a CV if you do get lucky. It's a very mobile unit. And that mobility is really its best defense. You want to keep it moving, you want to keep it all over the place. You want to try and hit the enemy where they don't expect you to be. But yeah, that's really it. The Rat O20 is a pretty simple vehicle. It's a lean, mean infantry transport machine. And well, I'm going to leave it off at yeah, This has been another Ring Rouge of the Reek. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.